dear students welcome to sias digital classes today let us learn about the concept of regression equations itself but sometimes what happens they want to predict some uh, values through that equations like uh, x value they will give so y we need to predict using that x value or y value they will give we need to uh, sort for x value so such a problem let us deal now so uh, same the regression equations what we have done uh, earlier the same regression equations will be doing but finally they will give some of the values for x and y that also we need to find out so here is some example uh, to find it out that so we have a question uh, following the other marks in statistics and english in an annual exam so directly they have given some marks for us uh, for statistics and english exam so let us check it out what are they so first what they have given mean value they have given mean for statistics and english so statistics i'm considering as x and uh, english as y so for that values let us check it out mean mean they have given uh, for x and for y and the standard deviations also they have given and then Co coefficient of correlation remember r r is a correlation coefficient so correlation coefficient also they have given r value they have given so this is r now what's the question they have given under that estimate um, the score of english when score in statistics is 50 so i just know i said no x value they will give y we need to find out or y they will give x we need to find out so here is the same question uh, we need to estimate English values, uh, English uh, score when statistics score they have given already. Means uh, sum of x value or y value they have given and we need to find out the other value. And here we need to check it out which is x which is y also by ourselves. So that in uh, which equation correctly we need to substitute that uh, we have to know. So they will not specify directly that uh, it is a regression equation x on y or y on x. They will not specify. By checking out the question, we need to identify by ourselves. Now, how to identify which equation at all? Let us discuss while doing the problem. Okay. So here is a solution for that. Given values, these are given x bar. How I have written x bar? Mean they have given in the question, right? Mean is always x bar and y bar mean means what that its notation is if it is from x x bar if it is from y y bar so mean they have given for x and y that means this 40 becomes x bar and 50 becomes y bar okay next standard deviations we have standard deviation sigma x sigma y standard deviation notation in the previous sim only we have learned its notation is sigma x if it is under x so this becomes sigma x and this becomes a sigma y so standard deviation left over correlation coefficient is nothing but r so all the values we have all the values i have wrote here given so all the values we have identified now let us go for or obtaining regression coefficients first using that let us find out the regression equation x on y y on x then finally we have to obtain the missing value that is score of english for first equation and score of uh, uh, statistics also okay so first uh, am i uh, trying to find out the regression coefficients so remember the formula regression coefficients so x y y x both i am trying to find out so first one regression coefficient of x on y i am trying so it's a formula is r into sigma x by sigma y why because correlations are available for us standard deviations are available for us so i am utilizing this formula so r i have in my hand r is 0 0.5 i have substituted into sigma x i have sigma x is 10 i have substituted sigma y is also available that is 16 so substitute all it so divide and multiply get the answer for b x y so i have got as 0 0.312 so that is b x y value i have find it out next let us find out regression equation y on x also so formula goes like this r into sigma y by sigma x so how to remember the formula 
which one is starting you are uh, taking that should be the numerator so check it out y is a first value so sigma y should come up so that is the clue every time we'll get confused because uh, x on y y on x with a little difference we have the formulas so logic wise you remember then there will be no confusion at all okay so this is the formula for regression coefficient of b y x so take all the values again substitute and get the answer that is 0 0.8 i have obtained so i have done with regression coefficients both i have obtained now let us go for obtaining regression equations so first question i'm trying to sort first question what they have given they have given score of english uh, estimate score of english they said means we need to find that y value so i have kept it as question mark estimate in the sense find it out so that means we don't have that value so y is equal to question mark because uh, uh, english we have considered as y right so y is equal to question mark but uh, statistics values they have given score of statistics is there in our hand that is x value they have given as 50 so this is the clue that which equation we need to consider so which equation how to consider that uh, whether it's x on y or y on x by checking out the question what is missing here score of estimate score of english that means english is why we have considered why we need to identify then go for regression equation y on x because y is estimated using x y is dependent on x so which is missing should come first so y on x we need to consider so check it out that is regression equation y on x i am considering so this is how the equation we need to identify you can substitute in x on y also but you'll get wrong answers so be careful while identifying the question so whenever one of the value is missing check it out which value is missing y or x so y is missing definitely y on x equation we need to consider so that is a clue for us to find it out the equation so uh, regression equation uh, we got as y on x so take that formula remember the formula formula here it goes y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar so this is a formula we know already we have done uh, some regression equations we have learned already so that uh, consider the same equation now all the values are there in our hand substitute and get the equation first then we'll find out the y value also so uh, let us substitute the values y minus y bar y bar is 50 they have given in the question itself right so 50 have substituted then uh, b y x just now we have obtained that is 0 0.8 then x as it is then x bar we have that is 40 so y and x we should not substitute as usual uh, leave that one uh, substitute left, left, leftover things that is x bar y bar and b y x so i have substituted now solving equation is also the same first y minus y bar that is y minus 50 we can't do anything keep it as it is then here 0 0.8 multiply inside so 0 0.8 into x remains the same 0 0.8 x minus sign as it is 0 0.8 into 40 we need to do so 0 0.8 into 40 i wrote here so next step y minus 50 as it is i'm keeping again next here 0.8 x also as it is here i have multiplied 0 0.8 into 40 i've got as 32 so next step only values to value we can uh, subtract or add we know that so here uh, left hand side i have a value 50 and the other side i have 32 so i want to uh, do both of them together so y is equal to 50 goes to the other side and becomes plus here because it is minus sign here so it goes to plus sign when you, you consider to the other side so minus 32 plus 50 you do you get the answer as 18 other values as it is y is equal to 0.8 x plus 18 i have got now take it as equation one for that and now let us go for substituting the given value so what they have given given x value as 50 that is statistic value x uh, we know so they have given 50 let us substitute that in equation one 
So I have substituted here y is equal to I have uh, wrote the equation again. Now I am going for substitution y is equal to 0.8 as it is instead of x I have considered 50. So 0.8 into 50 plus 18 as it is. Now multiply 0 0.8 into 50. I have got the answer. Some answer as 40. So y is equal to 40 plus 18. 40 plus 18 y is equal to 58 I have got. So this is how we will find out the missing value. So therefore what is y actually? Y is English score right? So therefore score of English is 58. So I have got the answer for uh, y value. So this is how we will find out the missing value and based on the equation. Now let us go for second question. What is the second question? They have given question as uh, estimate a score of statistics means x value is missing here statistics we have considered as x right so x value is missing so keep a question mark as well as they have given english value here so now english value is available for us so score when score of english y is equal to 30 so y value is there in our hand x value is missing so how to find out the equation which equation x on y or y on x so it is x on y what i said which is missing should come first so x on y so x value is missing go for it x on y equation we need to consider so let us check it out uh, regression equation x on y formula so that is regression equation x on y is considered so x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar is the formula for us to find out regression equation x on y so we have all the values in our hand you should not substitute any x y values other values we have to take that is x bar y bar b x y so substitute and get the uh, get some equation so i have substituted x bar is 40 b x y we have done earlier so that is 0 0.312 and y minus y bar y bar is 50 so i have substituted all the values let us uh, equate uh, let us uh, solve this equation so x minus 40 as it is I have kept here uh, 0 0.31 I have to multiply inside so 0 0.3312 uh, into y uh, we will get 0 0.312 y minus 0 0.312 into 50 I have to do so I have kept into 50 now let us solve that first values as it is I have kept the last value I have multiplied that is 0 0.312 into 50 I have done I have got as 15.6 okay next now uh, values to values we need to do the subtractions or addition so 40 i am taking to the other side it is minus 40 we have it goes to the other side and becomes plus 40 so i have wrote the same x as it is 0 0.312 y as it is uh, minus 15.6 as it is 40 goes to the other side and becomes plus 40 so i have wrote that only here so next step first values as it is again so x as it is 0 0.312 y as it is here subtractions i have done i have got the answer as 24.4 so we have solved this equation take that equation as 2 one we have done earlier so this one i'm considering as 2 now let us utilize the given value so that we can identify the missing value so what they have given given y value is 30 right so y is equal to 30 let us substitute in this equation so that we can obtain x value so x as it is 0 0.312 as it is y value is 30 we have so i have substituted 30 plus 24.4 as it is okay so this value we have uh, done here x is equal to uh, 9.36 I uh, have multiplied this 0 0.312 into 30 then I have added 24 I have got some answer as 33.76 so score of statistics I have got as 33.76 so this is how I have find it out the value uh, of uh, uh, equation for uh, statistics so score of x I have obtained here that is 33.76 here one more thing uh, when we have uh, subtracted 15 minus 15 to uh, plus 40 we will get a plus value here here uh, 
mistakenly we wrote as minus it is plus 24.4 so it is a uh, plus value because uh, highest value is 40 plus so we have so answer also plus we will get further it is correct only so in this way we have identified the score of uh, statistics that is x value we have identified so whenever some value is missing one more value we need to identify this is how we will solve the uh, equations and we will substitute the given value and we will obtain the missing value. So you may get in exam only single value like uh, uh, x value they will give you may have to identify some val y value or like this both they, you may expect. So this is how we have to sort whenever missing values are there. Hope uh, uh, all the two equations you have understood how to solve and uh, uh, first of all how to identify which equation uh, we have to consider. So uh, revise that again so that uh, it should be clear which equation we need to consider. So hope you have understood uh, this session. See you all in the next class. Thank you.